Now that we have the fourth axis rotary, let's learn how to use it. When learning something new, I like to start off easy. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're just gonna make a dowel. Taking baby steps like this makes the learning process easier. The Vetrix software I design in has a rounding tool path that takes a square stock and kind of rounds off those corners. And then I'm gonna come in and just do a pocket to cut down to a diameter. However, that left a really, really rough cut. Let's see how we can fix that. So in the Vetrix software, you design everything on a flat plane and then it wraps it around the X axis, creating the A axis for the rotary. So it turns everything. So you can see we're going across the grain right here. So what we need to do is open up our pocket toolpath, then we'll set a raster angle on it and we'll go 90 degrees with the grain of the wood. And that should help create a much cleaner cut. Going against the grain will always leave a much rougher finish. And you can see how it wraps that flat design along the A axis. Let's go get it cut. So now that we're going with the grain, it is leaving a cleaner cut. However, we're getting a bunch of step lines in there. There are some other issues going on here that I don't quite understand yet, but we will get to those in the next video and kind of talk more about that. But uh, this is literally my first time using the rotary, so I'm learning and you're watching me learn. So the way that I'm gonna fix this is I'm just going to decrease the step over to try to create a clean cut because those ridges are definitely not the finish that we're looking for. So with a smaller step over, we were able to get a really nice smooth finish. However, all of those issues I will explain in the next video but we're taking baby steps here and our first goal is accomplished. We have a nice smooth round dowel that we turned on the fourth axis rotary. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Have a great day, everyone.